Hello everybody, this is HG Redemption. Today I'm going to be playing Vintage Story. Although this game does look like Minecraft, there are many distinctive differences that make it much, much better. I am going to check out my mod so you guys know what I have. If you are curious, I'm just going to scroll through them. None of these are game changing, so uh, they usually just add things. So let's take, for example, rope bridges. It just adds a rope bridge. That's cool. So we'll put that one in there. I am going to start a new game for this. As you can see, I have uh, quite a few hours invested in this game. I have another world that has about another 20 hours. So I'm pretty well versed, although I am a very relaxed player. So there are things I have not done yet. And also, I make many mistakes. So I'm going to create a new world. I am going to change some settings. We don't want dark hermit tails. Damn, sure. How about that? That looks good. So we're going to customize the game here. We're going to go standard game. I'm going to change days per month because seven uh, hours for nine days is a very long time. I did that in my last game. And it took forever just to get to winter. So let's do... Uh, let's do this one. So we're going to do that. Uh, that looks all good. There was some other thing. Oh, hunger rate. I am going to change this to slightly slower because I'd rather not starve to death every 15 seconds, especially if we spawn in a bad area. Like I said, I like to relax when I play. Uh, surface copper looks good. We want a, we want this node search. It, it should not be disabled. I don't know why they have it disabled because it's pointless if it's not on. So we're going to change it to 8 blocks. I'll explain this later until we get to it. I won't spoil anything for you guys until we get to it. So I'm going to apply that. I think that is everything. So you're going to create here. Uh, I'm just going to do a random seed. Hopefully we don't get a really sucky spawn. So this is my very first YouTube video. So give me grace. And also give me some pointers of what I can do better. Because, like I said, I am going to make mistakes. Also, if you guys have made it this far, I hope that you guys enjoy it. And uh, you can give me a like and maybe possibly subscribe. It, it will mean a lot. So I'm going to edit, which brings me to another point. I'm going to be editing probably a lot because this game requires a lot of grinding. Like this, it's taken a long time to load up the game. So I'm probably going to edit this out. So I will see you guys when the game loads. Alright guys, welcome back. I got the game to load. So we get to uh, customize our people. You can spit them around here. Ooh, nice. Whoa, that is a long ponytail. So we're going to show them dressed. Pretty sweet outfit there. Um, what skin? Eh, we don't want to be a smurf. Ooh, that looks good. Eye color looks good. Hair type, I don't even know how to pronounce that. Uh, long and flowing. Ooh. Yeah, sure. Uh, none. Mustache. I, I kind of like the mustache there. The beard. Uh, let's see. There is. Yeah, we'll do a full chop. So that looks cool. All right, we'll change the hair there. All right, that looks good. So we're gonna do that. Confirm. So this is the class system. There are different classes, and each one has different skills. So this is a bad example because the commoner doesn't give you any positive or negative traits. If you go over here, there's a hunter. Uh, for example, it has focused. It gives you 10% range damage and 30% more accuracy. But some of them have a uh, a disadvantage. So this guy is farsighted. So he, his melee weapon, which is swords and fists and stuff, is minus 15% damage. And it also has a minus 15% or drop rate. So there's also other ones. I won't go through them all because that will take a while. So I'll let you pause. I think I'm going to do a hunter class because I've never done a hunter class before. So let's try this. So this looks like a pretty good place to actually settle down in. You cannot uh, break uh, rocks with your hands or with a stone pickaxe. You need a uh, copper pickaxe, which is further down in the road. So we just have to make a little hut here in the dirt. 
I'm gonna make a little hidey hole here. So you just want to dig into the ground. That way you have some place to rest your head. You cannot actually, uh, the nights are long, so I need to make a bed. That is important. We also need to make some tools. So in order to make tools, you need to find two rocks and it's called napping to them together. So that is also another important thing. If you push the M key, it brings up your map. It is a very big map. You can It goes farther that way. So it's basically infinite if you want to look at it that way because it takes a long time to get there. So I'm just going to mark this spot by right clicking and call it home. Nice little home there. And then make the color red. You can make it any color you want. Or give it a little icon there. Save that. Alright, so let's head out now that we have a little home. So what we're going to look for, like I said, is flint or rocks. Uh, there's some flint. I'm going to look for another flint real quick. This stuff is important. This cattail, we can use it to make all sorts of things. We also want to look for uh, food. Oh, where there's a pup wolf, there's usually an adult wolf. And those guys really hurt. You can only take probably about two or three hits and then you die from them. So you really want to stay away from those guys. They are nasty. You just kind of want to go along and pick up things as you go, such as sticks. Sticks are basically, you know, the lifeblood of every tool. Uh, some of my... Oh, some lag there. Uh, some of my mods do add some things. Uh, so, I believe this is part of the mod, but if you make, let's say, a spear, which is right there, you actually have to get rope in order to make it. You can't just put the the spearhead on top of a stick and hope it sticks together. You actually have to get rope. I Like I said, I'm not sure if that's actually from my mod or if that's actually in the game now since the update. So what we're going to do right now is just make a knife. So you just uh, nap. This is called napping. You squat down so you can see a little bit better. And you chip out the orange highlighted pieces. And you get two for one, which is a pretty darn good return for one rock. So we're just going to chip this all away. This is a very cool part of this game. I know it's not for everyone because it is pretty grindy. Like I said, I will be editing some of this out. But this is why I love the game. Because it is grindy. And it's a little bit more realistic than, let's say, Minecraft. So what we're going to do is just uh, harvest some of this Cooper's Reed, I believe. And we're going to get six of them so we can make rope. So you have to cut these with your knife. Otherwise, you'll just get... Uh, Oh, we can check that out. Some kind of root or something. Cattail root. So, can you eat this? I think you can eat it when it's cooked. But I have a mod that gives me beef jerky. If I kill an animal, I can cut up the meat and it will provide beef jerky. So, that is nice. It's kind of overpowered, but hey, like I said, I'm a relaxed player. And I like beef jerky. So, there we go. Alright, so... I'm going to make some rope like so. So we need to find a, another piece of flint. Just one. Oh, there's some. Actually, we need two. Hopefully we get two. Ah, dang it. Nope, just one. Oh, there's another piece right there. So we're going to squat down, place another rock, and make another flint spear. Alright, guys. Welcome back. I almost napped both of these out. There we go. You put that, uh, I believe, in that slot, the rope in there, and then you put the sticks right there. And shift click, it puts it right into your inventory. Oh, uh, oh, we need another stick, actually. It looks, oh, then there's some. Um, ask and you shall receive. So there we go. Put the stick right there, the rope right there. Uh, I guess we need two sticks. I guess. Try that. There we go. So one is for throwing and one is for jabbing. If we run into an animal, we can get some nice beef jerky out of it. So next, we want to find some clay because clay is important in this game. It is used to make a uh, bowl so you can eat, make uh, meals. It's also used to craft uh, molds. So uh, we can look for that around the place. I also will probably expand my home off camera. I would like to show some hunting in this first episode. I will be probably cranking out a few of these. 
they will probably only be about 15 minutes long which reminds me I should probably look at that so be right back all right so we have a little bit more time I am going to look at the map here and see what we can find I want to find some peat uh, it will show up as a darker right there that's some peat right there uh, there's some peat over there. That's a big one. That's a trader. You can see the little building right there. There's also destructed buildings. That looks like that's one right there. Some ruins. We can get that maybe in the next episode. I am going to make some fire so for that. To make a campfire, we need an axe because you can't chop trees down with your hands. A little bit realistic there. You can't do that. If you go out in the woods and try to chop some uh, trees, they won't just fall down, unfortunately. So, oh, no, dang it. I just made a flint shovel. I don't want that. Uh, axe head, there we go. So I'm just going to nap this out. I'm just going to leave that shovel there because we don't have very much storage space. We can get some more storage if we uh, make some hand baskets, which is showing up right there. Gives you a little bit more, uh, a little bit more space in there because right now we just have this. So that'll be handy dandy once we get that. We also want to make chests, but that is actually way down on the road chests. So we, we want to make reed baskets, which aren't very good. So we need to make some more rope, like so, so that, put the rope right there, put that there, and then the axe head. All right, so now we have our axe. So we're gonna chop down some of this birch. It does take a little bit, so I will probably edit this out. All right, guys, I chopped it down, yay! As you can see, the tree actually just all goes poof, which is very cool. A nice little particle effect there. I'm going to drop that. We don't need that at the moment. We are going to need food pretty soon, so I'm going to have to go out and go hunting. So what you do is you put the birch log in there. You put that the axe in there, and you chop the firewood. This is also pretty cool because you can actually stack the firewood right there. Oops, wrong button. And if you push shift, it uh, piles up a little bit faster. So that's nice. So we need to cut some grass. That'll give us dry grass. Comes nice, pretty, and dried. So we'll cut some of this up. I'll use our damage knife. I think we just need one, so I don't know why I'm hitting so much. <laughs> uh, we need to expand just a little bit more. We can put the fireplace right here. It's getting a little crowded. So what you do is shift click and you put the grass down there. You you pick up some logs. I'll drop this rope. We don't need that at the moment. Uh, I believe it's four. Yep, okay. So now we made a campfire, and that is our fuel. This game is pretty cool with the fire because, as you can see, it has a burn duration of 24 seconds, and that's uh, each log that's in there. And it has a burn temperature of 700 degrees Celsius, which I have no clue what that is in Fahrenheit. Alright, guys, welcome back. I think we have a more than enough so what I'm going to do is make a reed basket like so that'll give us more personal inventory space and I think we still have enough I didn't really count yep okay for a reed basket there we go make one of those so we're just gonna store some of this stuff in there as you can see the the hand basket did open up three more slots each one is three slots you can actually upgrade these later on in the game you can get hunter pouches and stuff but that requires uh, leather that's been uh, soaked and stuff so that's later down on the road what we need to do right now is find some food but actually we might do that in the next episode so I hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you all next time